Hello and welcome to this screencast on computing summary statistics of data in MATLAB. So I'm up in here in MATLAB and I've rearranged my window just a little bit. I have this variable called quiz here and it contains uh, some data for a set of three quizzes of 20 points each uh, given to a class of 20 students. Don't worry, this isn't any of you. And uh, I'm interested in just uh, finding out some basic stats about the quizzes that I gave. By basic stats, we often mean what we call summary statistics, and that would be just basic measures of where the central tendency of the data are, like an average, and things that are similar to an average, and also how spread out the data are, and that's measured by a, a uh, computation called the standard deviation. And MATLAB can do all of these things here. First of all, I'm going to define a few variables here. I'm going to slice out the first column of this quiz data here, and just call it quiz1, and then let that equal quiz colon 1, and that's the first quiz. And I'll just play with this for a little while. If I wanted to calculate the average of quiz1 in MATLAB, uh, that's often called the mean, and I'm just going to type mean of quiz1, and it will give me back the average. If I wanted to find the median of quiz 1, the median is the score that would result if I lined up all the scores of quiz 1 from smallest to greatest and found the one that was exactly in the middle of that list. That's called the median, and I can find that by typing median quiz 1. Pretty simple, there it is. This one comes out as a decimal because there were some duplicates in the middle of the quiz. If there's not a distinct middle, for example, if you have an even number of scores, like I do here, uh, the median is defined to be the average of the two scores that are in the middle. I can also find a measure called the mode, which is just simply the most frequently occurring quiz score by typing mode, quiz 1, and this is 20. You can almost see that if you back up and look at the scores. It seems like 20 was the most commonly occurring score. That's good news for me. I can also find the maximum score, which is obviously going to be 20, but I would type max quiz 1, and it's 20. I can also find the minimum by typing min quiz 1, and that's 8. And those are our basic measures of central tendency and spread. There's one other that's a little more advanced called the standard deviation. And you should look this up uh, in Wikipedia or, or a dictionary to see the precise definition. But basically what standard deviation measures is, the, is how spread out the data are. And the higher the standard deviation, the more spread out they are. And it's far more technical than that, but that's the basic explanation. Standard deviation in MATLAB is calculated using STD. And I can find that's my standard deviation. This also works if I am averaging across a row vector rather than a column vector. For example, the student here in the first position uh, whose scores are 8, 5, and 6, not so great, I might call that student, uh, student 1. And that would be the quiz, uh, and I would like the first row in all columns, and that's this stuff here. If I'm feeding a row vector and ask for the mean, for example, of student 1, it will know what to do with that as well. So anytime I feed any of these basic statistical functions a vector, uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's a row or a column, it will know what to do. Now, if I fed uh, these functions the entire array of quiz data, the 20 by 3 array that I have here, um, we have to be a little careful in what's computed. For example, if I just feed it mean and then just quiz, that would be all 60 of these quiz scores, uh, what it does is it calculates the mean of each column. So here, mean of quiz is 16.4 for quiz 1, 17.1 for quiz 2, 13.5 for quiz 3. Uh, it will not calculate the mean over all 60 of those scores. If I wanted to get the mean of all 60 of them, I could find the mean that I just computed and take its mean, so the average of those two averages. So the average score across all 60 of those would be 15.6667. And if you are working with arrays in any of these, uh, any of these functions, that's what's going to happen. It's going to calculate column-wise. For example, the medians of each, uh, not means, but median of each of those if I feed it the entire array of quiz scores, it's going to calculate it by columns. So that's your quick tour of basic MATLAB functionality for calculating summary statistics. Thanks for watching.